Welcome fellow Megasquirt tuners. I have some tips and tricks to help you get your engine to start when it's cold outside. And there's a few things that can really go wrong, especially if you have larger injectors and you're using a base map that may not have been built for that. This can really help you get your engine started and will save you a lot of time and frustration if you just follow some of these simple steps. So let's get into it. The first thing that you need to look at when you're trying to get your Megasquirt to start in the cold is the warm-up enrichment. This is probably the single most important table for getting extra fuel into the motor when it's cold. Now, one thing that I didn't understand when I first started and was very new to Megasquirt tuning was that engines love extra fuel when it's cold outside. And I thought, oh, uh, you know, maybe they just need a little bit, but really some of them like a lot of extra fuel, especially when it's sub-zero freezing temperatures outside. So one thing that you can check, take a look at is the warm-up enrichment uh, fuel modifier. Now this table over on the right here, you can see the temperature in Fahrenheit, how cold the motor is, versus a percentage modifier for how much additional fuel it's giving the motor. The one in front of it, you can basically just visually block out that and look at these other two numbers to see a percentage of how much fuel it's adding. So this would be 2%, 8%, 13%, 25%. Uh, 35 percent 50 percent and so on so i have found in most of the applications that i have tuned engines really like about 200 percent or more fuel added when it's cold below freezing outside just take a look here at this 32 degree mark or somewhere in here around 40 degrees and see that it's only at 35 percent it's at 135 so what i would do is take this entire area right here and you can manually move these marks you can manually move these uh, areas here and it will change the value over here but if you want to just keep this nice smooth shape right here if, we, if you want to keep that all you have to do is go into this table over here on the right and highlight the numbers the percentages over here up to about this 40 or 60 degree mark either one and then just start raising them up until at the freezing 30-ish degree fahrenheit mark you have 200 percent right right about there somewhere right where this line crosses 232 degrees where it's freezing outside and then this other area from here down, you can just interpolate over here on the right to kind of smooth that out. I've noticed once it's the engine's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, it doesn't really need any additional fuel and every single engine will be different. So you'll just have to try that out, um, just trial and error. But after you change this and bring it up to about 200%, you can hit burn and fire up the car and see if it starts better. This process is very trial and error. Every engine is different, and depending on what injector size or fuel you have in the car, it will vary greatly and it can make a big difference. So every time you make a change, every time you make a change in here like this, just burn and uh, go ahead and try to start the car and see if it starts better. If you're noticing it's starting better but needs just a little more, don't be afraid to come in here and give it a couple more percent and try it again. Um, however, on like stock engines or modified engines with 800 to 1000 cc injectors, I've noticed both of them respond pretty well to about 200% around freezing uh, when it's very cold outside to start up. With that being said, this is a trial and error. Go ahead and give it as much um, as much error or trial and error as you can um, and even in here in the instructions down below it says at cold temperatures two to three hundred percent may be required so don't be afraid to get this up closer to two to three hundred percent around freezing in these areas down here i haven't really found it to be necessary to add a lot of fuel once the motor is about 40 degrees 
uh, Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it's somewhere in that range, it will usually fire up a lot easier. All right, so let's move on to the next area, the priming pulse. Now the priming pulse in this default base map from uh, Megasquirt 2, this is a MS2 base map, it gives you priming pulses from six milliseconds to two milliseconds. Now, uh, this range would be great for about a 20 pound or 200 cc injector. So if you had some stock engine, like on a Miata or something, these values would actually work probably fairly well. However, there's a big difference once you go to larger injectors, like close to thousand cc or larger, uh, the millisecond of spray time for a 1000 cc injector and a 200 cc injector is drastically different. So here where it's uh, 50 degrees or 30 degrees, the coolant temperature, five millisecond spray of fuel on you know six or eight injectors, if you had a six or eight cylinder, that's quite a bit of fuel. And if you try to start the motor over and over a few times, you may actually flood the motor if you're using a large injector with this spray time. So if you have large injectors, uh, you can come in here and modify these. And I've found that about uh, maybe 2.5 milliseconds at the coldest and around a half millisecond um, down at the bottom. We'll just put one for, we'll put one for now. This range right here, and you can modify this even if you want bring this down to maybe closer to a half a millisecond. Something like this would work fairly well. So an, an engine with larger injectors does not need as much spray time on the priming pulse, and it will actually cause problems when you go to start it if you leave the defaults in here. So make sure that these are changed. All right, moving on to the next area, the after start enrichment. This is another one where immediately after the engine starts, there's a modifier that gives a little extra fuel uh, in the first seconds of the engine running. This, I have not noticed making a dramatic difference. However, it can help. And I would advise you to just come in here and play around with it a little bit. You can add uh, maybe five or up to 10 in the uh, the after start percentage and just see if it helps start the motor better. However, there is a caveat to this setting where if you're making changes here and you keep increasing this, but the car, it runs better, but after the after start, it starts to run worse and act like it wants more fuel, you actually may need to go back to your warm up enrichment and add more fuel. So this can be a crutch for your warm-up enrichment, which is why I suggest working on the warm-up enrichment first. So set the warm-up enrichment first and work with this last as a um, kind of a touch-up to get your startup sequence to work as well as possible. Now, one other thing while we're on the topic of large injectors is if you go to your acceleration enrichment this TPS based acceleration enrichment is the default. And these values right here are milliseconds of spray time with the injectors that it, it will add depending on how fast you open up the throttle. So if you really open up the throttle quick, it would be in this range, the 800 to 1500 TPS dot range, or if it's slower, it is closer to the 200 range. However, these would work great for a stock injector, 200-ish cc's, but when you get to the 800 to 1000 cc range, you must make these a lot smaller of a value. Uh, typically, I would take this down to about 0.5, and this one go to about three, and then interpolate in between the two. So you can just hit this interpolate button over here. It gives you a nice smooth line, and for a larger injector, this amount of spray time for acceleration enrichment will dramatically help you. If you've ever driven a car where these aren't changed from a base map in Megasquirt and you go to drive it around, every time you stab the throttle, it will hesitate because it gets too much fuel. And then as soon as that fuel is evacuated and burned off, then it 
comes back to life and feels like it's running a lot better. So this is another uh, this is another example of what you can adjust just to make the motor run a little bit better. And the last setting that we'll go over is the cold advance, which I have found from the factory is actually pretty good. This is the degrees of cold ignition advance that the mega squirt will add when the temperature is below a certain threshold. So as you can see here, 80 degrees Fahrenheit and colder, it's adding more degrees of advance. And what that does is adds ignition advance, which will add slightly more power and keep the motor running at these lower colder temperatures where it's hard to start. You want as much uh, power as possible to keep the motor up and running. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do here on the channel, please consider joining us as a member and or subscribing.